You have got to meet the 105 year old lady from Louisiana who ran 100 meters and set a world record. We went to meet Miss Julia Hawkins and expected she'd be real excited to talk about the race, but she told us it's just a drop in the bucket when it comes to the race of life. On your marks. Set. And she's off at 105 years old in a class all by herself and with a fresh picked flower in her hair. Julia Hawkins was running for the record books at the Louisiana Senior Olympic Games. Come on, Julia, you got it, you got it. Come on. She is running 100 meters, a little bit more than a football field, and has to stay in that lane despite not being able to see much more than about a foot in front of her because of her age. Miss Hawkins stays in race shape, mostly by jogging a mile or two a day near her Baton Rouge home that she and her husband built together back in 1948. And that's where we first met her the day before the race. Well, hello, Miss Julia. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm David. Well, David, we've been waiting a long time on you. Well, <laughs> have you ever wanted to be a world record holder? Not particularly. No. Are you impressed by it? No. Not particularly. I do many other wonderful things before this. This is just a drop in the bucket. She grew up in the 1920s when a train ticket cost about a nickel. What was the state of the world when you were born? Much calmer, fewer buttons to push, <laughs> and, uh, but lots of books to read. She became a teacher and fell in love with gardening. She shared that love for nature with a fellow student at LSU named Murray Free Hawkins Jr., or Buddy as they called him. I met him the first day at LSU. I went home and wrote about him in my diary. He was so smart, so clever, and so fun. He had a good sense of humor, and he was vivacious and wonderful. We were married by telephone. By telephone? At that time, Murray was at Pearl Harbor, serving in World War II. Together, they raised four children, and after 70 years of marriage, Murray died at the age of 95. Did you want to live to be this old? I couldn't imagine being this old. Without him, it's not the same. It's not quite as wonderful. What are your dreams? I don't have a dream. I just want to go to sleep and let it end. <laughs> That's what my husband did. We were sleeping together, and he sang love songs to me that night. Wonderful songs. So that's a wonderful way to go. Well, until that happens, we are going to cheer you on. Thank you. Which takes us right back to that 100-meter run. On race day, among those cheering her on were two of her former students, 90-year-old Rosemary and Evelyn, who's 89. She finished in just under one minute, three seconds, setting a world record as the oldest American and the first woman to run 100 meters in her age group. I'm so happy. Now, you know, every winner deserves a press conference, and this one set her own rules. Okay, one question apiece. You want to do it again? Yeah. <laughs> right now? <laughs> no. How about at 106? Do it again? Maybe so. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> See how I feel when I get up in the morning. <laughs> Deal. Deal. <laughs> oh, love everything about Miss Julia, Me David. She started wow. racing uh -huh. at 101. Mm. Wow. Because why not? Because why not? <laughs> Dave, you sure know how to pull on those heartstrings, oh, man. Yeah. Great job. Y'all, I fell in love. But I, I, did, in I did too right Walked now. Walked in 10 minutes late. I was going to say. We've been waiting a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she called you out. I love her when I grow up. I love everything about her. Oh, I just her mind it. is there. Her body is there. So she sharp. Really lives love. by herself. She does. Alone. Wow. And a mile or two every day. What y'all wow. did yesterday? A mile or two? She's Last an inspiration. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you, Miss Julia.